Oh, hello everyone. My name is Eric. With me today is a cup of coffee and a few to pair with it. You are watching Oakland Tobacconist. So recently I've talked to some people about pairing cigars with coffee. Now we always have a Sinatra coffee pairing morning here at the shop. It happens about once a month. In fact, ours is tomorrow. Uh, but I wanted to offer a handful of cigars that I feel pair exceptionally well with coffee. Now, a large portion of the cigar journey is finding uh, and experimenting different ways to make uh, certain pairings or find out certain strengths of tobaccos and blends, etc. So hopefully this way, uh, this will break it down in kind of an even way of certain avenues you can take cigars to pair with coffee, whether you have creamer in it, whether you have sugar in it, or you're just drinking straight black. Here's a few good options where to start, and they work in varying uh, different strengths. So that way you're not always wondering if I should go directly mild, directly sweet, does pepper work, all the all those things. Without any further ado, let's jump right into the OGT Cigar Coffee Break Sampler. Now coming in first in the lineup uh, is one, of course, we would have to include because it is such a favorite here as well, it's sort of a signature here at the shop, and that is the Ash Cat Connecticut Robusto. I've chosen the Robusto because I feel like it has quite a bit of flavor to uh, stand up to something like uh, a like dark black coffee, something that doesn't have any sugar in it. This tobacco in here, the Ecuadorian Connecticut Shade, is well as the Nicaraguan fillers, has a natural creaminess, has a natural sweetness, and is rather light in strength. So it's a great option to go with at the beginning if you want to try something that's got a lot of flavor, it won't be drowned out by the coffee, but also is a good complimentary and adding a little bit of sweetness to your drink. Coming in point number two is a really, a really a big one. In fact, this is a uh, Banger Habano. So the Banger Habano, the Banger Habano is a four by 60 lost and found cigar. So lost and found goes to different factories. They locate different cigars that have been sitting for a while, aging for a little while. And typically when you hear the word Habano, you might think of a stronger cigar. This is anything but, it's very mild. It's got a lot of complexity. It's got a little bit of spice just to be right there to let you know it's there, but it's not overbearingly so. The sweetness is more of a pie crust sweetness. It's more sedated, but it has a lot of transitions and the size is perfect. It's, it's basically a coffee break size. Four by 60, so it's a bigger ring gauge for those who enjoy a bigger ring gauge, but it has a lot of complimentary notes. And this will play well when dealing with a uh, sugared coffee, a cream of coffee, or simply black. The complexity will hold up with it. Coming in would be the Barber Pole Candela Habano Filthy Hooligan by uh, Alec Bradley. This is the black market limited release every year. This Toro is a perfect selection if you're one who likes that vanilla note, that oak note, that creaminess, like zero pepper altogether. If you wanna add a little bit of vanilla to your coffee, this is uh, particularly nice. It burns really well, it's very cool. That Candela adds some of that creaminess and the Habano adds some of that like oakiness wood element. Combine them together, you get your little bit of vanilla. So that is the Filthy Hooligan Toro, a perfect cigar to start your day off with how mild it is, not aggressive, works very well. Number four is a tobacco I enjoy quite a bit, and it comes from a long heritage family in the tobacco industry. This is Honduran. This is the Cameroon by Aladino. Natural sweetness, natural earthiness, a little bit of wood and cedar. There's a lot of things going on with this. And as I've heard before from Aladino, from Justo himself, that uh, they soon are experimenting more with Cameroon and will be one of the most premier growers of Cameroon in Honduras. So we've, we're kind of on the Dominican and the uh, uh, Nicaraguan side, time to go to Honduras for the Cameroon naturally sweet, strength level in that perfect medium, and this will pair excellently with that morning cup of coffee. Coming in at number five, this is an absolute favorite of mine. I've paired this many, many times for its creaminess, its nuttiness, like sort of that toasty almond, and that is the Aganorsa, basically not your grandfather's Connecticut Toro. Fantastic cigar. It's edging from mild to medium in strength, fuller bodied in smoke, and it has a lot of great complexity. As I had mentioned, some of that like nuttiness and almondy, like hazelnut element to it. Really, really good. One of my most favorite Connecticut's, and it smokes magnificently in the morning when putting it with coffee. I highly recommend this to be a coffee staple, a coffee pairing staple. That is the Aganorsa Connecticut Toro. 
And finally, we have something that's on the sort of different side of the spectrum. It's a medium plus in strength, more zest and spice. So if you're looking for something that's really going to have a bit more of a punch and not as much on that more mild, sweeter side and has a little bit more force, I have the uh, limited Choshi released uh, by Luxury Cigar Club. And this cigar in particular is a perfect smooth cigar, but when it starts out, it has quite the punch to it. It uses a very, very dark, spicy wrapper. And this is, as I say, a very limited cigar, but it goes well with coffee due to the size. You're not committing for so long. And as I say, has quite a bit of flavor in the beginning, smooths out and becomes a bit more uh, easy on the palate as you continue to smoke it if you want some of those transitions. So this six pack is put together as a place to start. As I say, we call it the coffee break sampler. It is a perfect way to broaden your horizons, try new different things, and to see what type of pairing you enjoy with your coffee, whether you want to go a bit stronger like the Choshi or a bit more mild and lighter like something like the Banger or the uh, Filthy Hooligan. As, as usual, the uh, purpose of such things like this is to help in the progression of your cigar journey and to help find certain places to land on that you can kind of find where it is that your niche and where you enjoy. As always, thank you for smoking with us here on the channel. I am Eric, and thank you for watching Oakland Tobacconist. Ah!